One of the most important things scientists do is make predictions. Their predictions are sometimes called hypotheses, and they're based on what researchers know about the world. Even if someone's hypothesis is wrong, that's actually great news, because it means they have a chance to learn something new. Once I explain this experiment, try making a prediction about what might happen and why, then see what you can learn. You'll need three things. A hex nut, a roll of masking tape, and about one yard of string. First, loop the string through the hex nut two or three times, and then tie the end of the string together. You should have a big loop with the hex nut hanging out the bottom. Now, you just want to put it on and be like, I'm very fashionable. Or drape one end over one of your hands, and then spread your fingers apart so that the top of the loop is a little wider than the roll of masking tape. With the other hand, hold the roll of tape parallel to the floor. From above, your tape should look like the letter O. Now, lower your hex nut through the middle of that roll. Finally, keeping the tape parallel to the floor, raise it to the top of your string. Now's your chance to make a prediction. What's going to happen when you let go of the tape? You should see the nut and the string tie itself around the tape roll. If your tape hit the floor, try this experiment again. This time, when you let go of the tape, tilt it so that one side of the roll points down toward the floor. This experiment relies on two big ideas in physics gravity and friction. Gravity is the force that pulled my tape down toward the ground. Friction is the resistance that happens when things rub against each other. As my tape roll slid along the string, it created friction that tugged on the string and made it wrap around the roll. It's a pretty simple explanation, but a surprising one. Thanks for trying this out with me, for watching this video, and for experimenting with us. If you want to learn more about the world around you, we have plenty of other science videos that cover everything from from chemistry to psychology, and we also have more than 350 videos over at youtube.com slash scishowkids. Whether you're going through this kit for the very first time or the hundredth, thank you. We hope you learned a lot and had a great time, and that most importantly, it has made you more curious about the world.